Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to show you how to increase the stable diffusion speed for NVIDIA graphic card. So this is thanks to the library published by Facebook. It's called uh, AI template. So you can go to their GitHub repo. So this is uh, the page. So I think it's still in active development. Currently updated uh, like one hour ago. So so this is uh, one of the library that uh, can help uh, like machine learning, not only stable diffusion, to speed up the inference and the training speed. So as you can check their introduction. I think uh, they work for both uh, NVIDIA and uh, AMD. So I tried uh, for NVIDIA, it worked great. I also attempted uh, to try AMD GPU, but uh, I think uh, currently they only use the, some data center GPU from AMD. So consumer card may not be supported yet. So I tried several way, but unfortunately, I haven't uh, able to figure it out. So unfortunately, but uh, I got it to work for NVIDIA. So today I wanted to like do a quick uh, comparison for you. So you will all be, like also can try it if you are interested. All right, so let's do the demo first. Okay, so so on the on the right side, I have opened the uh, monitoring dashboard for the GPU. So so for this GPU, I use the Sony sixty RTX. So I will first try the normal stable diffusion. The model I'm using is Wife Diffusion. So. Let's uh, let's run it on the first terminal here. Yeah, okay, so as you can see, the image has been created, looks uh, great. And uh, the speed is 60.4 iteration per second. Not terrible, but not super good. So you would uh, like to increase it, right? So let's, uh, let's now look at uh, our AI template result here on the middle terminal. So so this is the command I'm gonna run and uh, I will kick off it. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that. I need to uh, activate my terminal. Okay, and uh, I will press enter. And look, let's look at the monitoring on the right side. So the power 167, and it took about uh, two seconds here. As you can see right from the terminal, the same 50 steps, almost 18 iteration per second. And uh, the image looks great. And uh, you, you were wondering, right? So on the first one is seven. As you can see on the first one is uh, seven seconds versus two seconds for one image. And the actual speed is 60.4 versus 18 
So I think that uh, just speaks for itself, right? So I, we can see that it's, uh, it's, it's really like impressive. So like how can you do that? So let's go back to the repository. They provided uh, some explanations. I think they did uh, some uh, compiling based on the stable diffusion model. So they can can multiple ways to optimize the speed. So if you are interested, give it a, a quick read. Um, and uh, in terms of the actual how to for the stable diffusion, it's uh, like in provided in this uh, sub directory, the examples, stable diffusion, and there's a, I think the the guide is very uh, detailed. It's easy to follow. So I think uh, the most important thing is uh, is right here. There's the uh, compile stage. You will use the command here and it will generate uh, three different uh, results photos one is for clip the other one for unit and uh, then there's the auto encoder so the, those are the three main components for the stable diffusion so uh, I will give you a quick look like uh, my compiled uh, results so so the the guide is only for the uh, model 2.1, but uh, I also tried uh, some custom models, uh, wife diffusion in my case. So as you can see, I also generated uh, three subphotos after this step. So I highly recommend that you give it a try. I think uh, if you are using the stable diffusion to generate lots of image, I think it definitely can be a greater speed up. So as the, the evidence is here, yeah, please uh, give it a try and uh, uh, let me know if you have any questions, please, please leave it in the comments. Yeah, and uh, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.